I am Lakshmi. I am Lakshmi. I am one of your science teachers and this is my first class in third standard. I hope all my little children are doing good at home. So let's start. Today I am going to start with a new chapter solids, liquids and gases. Once again solids, liquids and gases. I am pretty sure that you have heard about these terms in your last year's class. Yes, right? Yes. Now, children, can you just tell me a solid object around you? Just look around you and tell me a solid object near you. Got the answer? Now, children, next term I told you is liquid. Have you ever heard the term before? Yes, last year you heard the term liquid. What is liquid? Can you just give me any of the liquids which you consume? Next one is gas. Third one, gas. Okay, children, you know that all living things breathe. All living things breathe. For breathing purpose, we need to gas. What are the names of those gases involved in breathing? Tell me. So, children, let's study in detail about solids, liquids and gases. Okay. So, this is the fifth chapter and the first page you can see water. So, in the first page you can see about the different forms of water. That is in the ice stage, then liquid as water, then you can see water vapor also there. So that, now let's move on to our first portion that is solids. First portion we are going to study is about solids. So, let's start. I hope all of you are having pencil box with you. Don't you have? Take the pencil box. Just open that. What can you find inside? What are the things are there inside your pencil box? Tell me. Yes, you have pencils. You have sketch pens. Then eraser. Sharpener. Okay, so many things you have got inside your pencil box. Okay, just close it. Okay, now, will these things change the shape the next day? No, they will remain the same. They do not change the shape or size. So, that's about solids. Solids are objects that which do not change the shape and size. That is, they have a definite shape and size. So, apart from your pencil box, Take the case of your bag. You are having bag. Then shoes. Then dress. Then what? See the furniture in your home. Are they changing the shapes every day? No. They are having a definite shape and size. So these things can be called as salts. So salts are objects. Which have a definite shape and size. Will the salts flow? Will the air flow? What do you mean by flowing? 
Yes, you know that only water flows. Okay. In the case of if you see the river and ponds and you can see the water is flowing there. Yes, only liquids will flow. But solids does not flow. Solids have a definite shape and size. All the solid shapes. Okay, take the case of nature. In the nature you can see big rocks. Then stones, then blocks of wood, trees, they are all solid. Okay? All these are solid and they do not change the shape and size. I hope you all have understood about solids. Next is about liquids. Okay. So next we are going to study about liquids. So Till now, I told you about solids. Okay. Now, I am going to explain more about liquids. So, solids and liquids. Let's look one by one. Okay. Now, I am taking a orange with me. I am taking one orange with me. What is the shape of orange? You all can see here. Orange. Okay. The orange is a solid. Okay. It is a solid. It is having a solid shape. That means it is having a definite size and it is having a definite shape too. So, next one. I am going to make juice out of this orange. Next, I am going to make juice out of this orange. See? So, orange and orange juice. Okay, now I am going to place this orange inside a jar. See, do you note any difference? Did that orange change the shape? Yes or no? No, the orange remains the same. When I put that orange inside the jar, the orange is remaining the same. Okay. Next, uh, I am going to take the juice and I am going to pour it into that container. Or let's take a glass and pour that orange juice. Okay, now the orange juice I am pouring is taking the shape of the taking the shape of the jar or the glass into which I am pouring. So. From this, we can study that liquids, they do not have a definite shape. Or we assume the shape of the container or the jar or the glass into which they are being poured. So, liquids will flow and they do not have a definite shape. They can be easily poured and they assume the shape of the jar or the container into which I have poured it. Now, take the text and read it. You see a table there. Yes, you can see some points there. What is written there? Yes, salts have a definite size and shape. Then, liquids do not have a definite shape. Then, liquids can be easily poured into another container or jar. They do not have a definite shape. Now, will the salts flow? No, the salts are having a different shape and size. So, I hope all of you have understood the difference between salts and liquids. Now, take some of the other liquids you can find in your home. Tell me some of the liquids you can find in your home. Yes, first one is milk. Yes, milk. 
then water yes juices then tell some of the other liquids which you all know ah yes petrol diesel yes these are some of the other liquids which you see around you so the liquids they do not have a definite shape okay so this is enough for today so this is a very small lesson and this lesson is not there for your exam and i am going to continue this lesson in the classes after the exam so read the text thoroughly and we will continue the lesson in the next class okay so thank you